Hey everybody, I'm Jenna Williams and I'm here with the Coffee County Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers Junior Board. Since it is National Read a Book Day, I wanted to read you my favorite book, The Thing About Bees. When a bee and a flower love each other very much, a fruit is born. The flower makes a sticky yellow dust called pollen. As the bee drinks the flower's nectar, she gets pollen all over her body. The bee moves pollen from one flower to another. Then we wait and wait and presto, the flower turns into a fruit you can eat. This process is called pollination. We'd be hungry without the bees. They help vegetables and nuts grow too. Here's the thing about the bees. Sometimes bees can be a bit rude. They fly in your face and prance on your food. They buzz in the bushes and buzz in your ear. They sneak up behind you and fill you with fear. And worst of all, they do this thing called sting. Ouch. We may want the bees gone because their sting hurts, but if they were all gone, it would hurt much worse. Without bees, there'd be no more picnics with watermelon. There'd be no more smoothies with mangoes. There'd be no more strawberries for shortcakes and no more avocados for tacos. There'd be no apples, which means no more pie, no more cucumbers, which means no more pickles. No more blueberries and raspberries for pancakes or sweet cherries to drizzle. Because some foods won't grow without bees to help them along. In a way, the bees are just like you. You buzz in the bushes and buzz in my ear. You sneak up behind me and fill me with fear. You fly in my face and prance on my food you even sting when you're in a bad mood. But yet, I never stop loving you. You're my sweet cherry, the apple of my eye. You're my cucumber pickle, my bumblebee in the sky. You're my cold watermelon at the picnic in the park. You're the avocados on my tacos. You're my strawberry heart. Without those little buzzers, the world wouldn't know what to do. That's the thing about bees. We need them just as much as we need you. I hope y'all really enjoyed this story and thank y'all for letting me read it to y'all.